Hey everybody, it's Casey here at Sea Run Fly and Tackle. Today, I'm going to show you how to tie a basic float fishing jig. Okay, let's tie a jig. So what I've got here, I've got a complete angler, a uh, quarter ounce jig head, just a color to sort of coincide with the material colors that I'm going to be using for this jig. Uh, for tying thread, in this case, I'm just using regular 6 aught uni thread. Uh, some people prefer using something a little heavier. They can find they can torque on it a little bit more, keep everything lashed down. Um, this works for me, whatever works for you. It really comes down to personal preference when it comes down to this kind of thing. So, like we always do, tie in our thread. Lay down a really good base. Like I always say in these videos, this is our foundation for our fly or for our jig. This is what kind of keeps everything spinning around. And allows us to lock everything down real tight in place. So first thing I'm going to tie in some hairline UV polar crystal chenille. Uh, in this case I'm going to use black UV. I'll tie in a couple inches worth. And we're just going to palmer this forward. Now as I wrap this material, I like to pull the fibers back. And that way they don't you don't mash the material down with kind of the core of this material. Uh, it kind of allows it to flow and have a little bit of movement in the water and not just all be all bunched up on the hook shank. So I've got it almost halfway up the shank of the hook. I'll tie it off. And again, just make sure that this is all really well secured. It's just this allows this jig to get chewed on by a whole bunch of fish, and it's all going to stay together there for you. Next material I'm going to tie in uh, some of our Ofishel uh, two-toned rabbit crosscut strip. This one happens to be uh, royal blue and black. Make sure you secure it in right on that hide there. Again, fix it down real tight. And same thing, we're gonna palmer this forward. Pulling those rabbit hair fibers back as we wrap. I'll pull what I can away from where I'm trying to secure the end of this strip down and that's just going to reduce the bulk at the head here. Trim this off as flush as we can and again just a couple more wraps just to help secure things. Now, we're going to get a little crazy. I really like UV. Um, hoochie has a lot of UV properties to them. Well, depending on the hoochie, but this is a, a really good one to add a little bit of accent. Also adds a lot of wiggle to your fly. And uh, when we're done here, I'll kind of give you an idea what this is going to do. When I tie this in, you're going to be like, what the heck is this guy doing? It's just a clear piece of rubber. It's not going to do nothing, but I'll show you in a second. So one down one side. Uh, you know what, I want that a little bit longer. Just to stick out past the end of all the materials there. So I went in on that side. I lost my other one that I had prepped ready to go. Oh, there it is. And we'll tie the other one in down the other side of the fly, or down the other side of the jig here.
trying to match those tips up as close as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, fish don't care. I do. Again, secure nice and tight. A couple of wraps in the front again. A couple of wraps over. And that's just going to hold everything so that it's locked where we want it to be. Now just to finish this off as a collar, I've got some Nature Spirit Fish Hunter dyed schlappen. In this case, the color purple. You can really put any color that you want. I just happen to like this one. Caught my eye. Hopefully it catches the fishes. And trim that stem. Now, before I start to wrap, again, I'm going to pull those slapping fibers back. We'll make a couple of wraps here. And that just kind of cleans everything up at the front of the jig. You can make it as full as you want, as sparse as you want. You know, in this case, you know, sort of three, four wraps is kind of what I'm looking for. Trim that down flush. Stroke those fibers back. Make ourselves a nice thread head there. Whip finish. And we're going to whip finish a second time. So with those UV legs incorporated, uh, we don't really pick up on this, but fish do. They see UV. We're going to hit it with a UV light. And you can just see how those hoochie legs glow in there. And uh, to me, that looks pretty darn irresistible. So that's how you tie a basic, you know, drift jig or float fishing jig. Um, basically what makes this different from a twitching jig really just doesn't have a giant tail. If you want to tie a twitching jig, you know, big magnum rabbit strip or some marabou in there, a couple pieces of marabou, just to give it a little bit more action in the water. And I typically use a little bit bigger jig head. Well, that's kind of the basics there. That'll get you going. Uh, super effective pattern. Uh, works great for chum. Uh, coho, I'll take them too. You know, smaller sizes and different brighter colors for pink salmon. Uh, steelhead love them as well. And uh, yeah, you'd be surprised what you can catch on something like this. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and uh, check us out www.c-run.com. Thanks for watching.